Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Madeline. No. Wait. I don't know. Oh my God, Veronica. No. Sorry. Hello. Veronica. Hello. It's two times already. I'm sorry. It was yeah, twice. I don't know why for the ball. Yeah, voice? your voice, your voice sometimes with the internet connection, you know, it goes like Madeline's. So okay. I get confused. I'm okay, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, so how's it going? A little tired. A little tired. 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 Uh, yeah. tired. You need to pronounce that word properly before we finish the course. Okay, so okay. repeat. Tired. Tired. There you go. Tired. Tired. Get up. Get some focus. I'm going to practice. Okay. Okay. Uh, tienes que enrollar la lengua hacia atrás con la R. Tired. 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 No, you got it. You got it. Tired. Let's see, Violeta. Hello. Tired. Can you say tired? Hello, Violeta. Tired. Now, that sounded like tired, like this tired that I have here. A big tire. 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 <laughs> Janta. Right? Tire. My tire, my Michelin tire. <laughs> Your Michelin tire. It's never gone, right? Nope. Whatever you do, it never goes away. I have to love it. <laughs> you have to load it. Yeah. There's another way. Jarvin, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? A little bit tired, too. Okay, good, Jarvin. Great job. <laughs> Let's see. Daniela, the war of the day. How's it going, Daniela? Bad. Bad. Yeah. Why bad? Because I still stuck in the meter and yeah, that's it. Oh, come on. Text me, text me. After the class at 10 p.m., I can help you still. Okay, thank you. Mm, okay, the space bar turns on and off the microphone. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so tonight, you know, I want to practice something with you. Something funny, something to an icebreaker, okay? If you allow me, I would like to practice with you something that is gonna be very, very useful for all of us. Not just for you, but for me too. So the start of the class, I want to make you think. So I need each of you to think of a common sentence that you use all the time, for example, um, something that they teach you in every English class, right? Um, excuse me. Can you repeat? Right? That's like the first classes. How else can you say, excuse me, can you repeat it? Can you repeat? So let's work with synonym phrases. How else can you make this question even to sound more natural or how else have you heard someone asking for repetition when you don't get something? Um, will you please say again? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Say it. Say it. say it again. Say it again. Okay. Would you please say it again? Say it again. Say it again. Okay. 
Okay, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Will okay, you then. please say it again? <laughs> Close. What? Say it. Say it. Say it again. 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 Good. Okay, Violeta. Say, say what? Yeah, that will be very informal, right? Go like, say what? Is there a question mark here? Yeah. Okay, say what? You sure? Yeah? Okay, Violeta. Jarvin? Maybe, how was your day? No, no, no. Okay, let's get the exercise. So this is the common phrase. Every teacher has taught you, every teacher has taught you to say, excuse me, can you repeat? Or not even excuse me. Sometimes it just goes like, oh. "Can you repeat it?" Okay. So <laughs> you can also say, "Will you say it again?" Say what? Mm -hmm. In English, please. <laughs> All my teacher says. Uh, are you speaking Chinese? <laughs> I got you. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, but seriously, seriously, what other ways? <laughs> Have you heard? Um, I don't know. Think, think, mm. think, think. Daniela, what do you think? Again, please. Again, it's please. Oh, uh -huh. guess what? Maybe. Um, what about come again? That's very common. Come again. Or um, come again, please. Come again. Come again, please. Repeat once again. Repeat once again. Okay, let's add the please there. Now these are, oh my God, now, now she's here. Hello, Madeline, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, we're How are you? doing great. We're practicing ways to say things. So a synonym, a synonym phrase, how else can you say, excuse me, can you repeat? Yeah. How else can you say, excuse me, can you repeat? Excuse me, can you repeat? Yep. So another way, repeat once again, please. Okay. Um, what about beg your pardon? Repeat, beg your pardon. Okay. Beg your pardon? Or just. Beg your pardon. What is. Le ruego, su perdon? Le ruego su perdon. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Okay, or just pardon? Like that, like that. Look, pardon? You got it? Do it, do it. Pardon? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pardon? Beg your and pardon. I found my city, oh, I okay, here, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you can add something like I didn't get it or I didn't get that. Didn't get that. Sometimes what, you don't what even. What is the meaning, teacher? I didn't get it. No entendí. Oh, no, lo, yes. no lo agarré. Uh, it's the same. I, I don't understand. That, ese es el punto. Voy a decirlo súper rápido, Madeline. Estamos practicando maneras de decir las cosas de diferente manera. Okay. Frases comunes que ocupamos todos los días, pero de una forma más natural, okay? So, excuse okay. me, can you repeat? You could say, will you please say it again? Say what? Come again, please. Repeat once again, please. Beg your pardon, pardon. I didn't get that. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Now, something that I use a lot is uh, I say, I'm sorry. I didn't get, sorry, I didn't get the last thing you said. I'm sorry, I didn't get the last thing you said. Natural. I'm sorry, I didn't get the last thing you said. Okay, could you repeat? Okay, or sorry, I didn't catch 
the last thing you said. I'm sorry, didn't catch the last thing you said. I'm sorry, didn't catch the last word you said. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the last four digits you mentioned. Good? Okay, now is your turn. I want you to give me another phrase, okay? Instead of, excuse me, can you repeat? What's another phrase that you typically use in a daily basis when you speak English? Excuse me, I didn't understand you correct. It's another way. Uh huh. Think, think, think. Common phrases. Okay. I think that's like the most common, right? Okay. Mm. When you don't understand. If you already know the meaning, don't say it, okay? Okay, if you, you know what is this term? Okay. So how will yes. you, if you don't know the meaning of this word, how would you ask for clarification? What does it mean? Okay, that's the most common thing, yeah, right? What does it mean? Okay. Someone else? What is the, what is the meaning? meaning of? Yes, good. Both of you. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of that? <laughs> okay. Then you can ask for more clarification, right? Could you? Could you tell me? Could you use it in a sentence, right? If it was a word that you could use in a sentence. Okay. Can you give an example? Okay. Could can you give me a, son, a synonym? A synonym. Is there a synonym for procrastinate? What do you think, Daniela? You said you know the term. What's what will be a synonym for procrastinate? A synonym. Um, I know the meaning, but in a synonym, I don't know what word I can use. Hmm. It's like when you delay an action, that's the, the main meaning of procrastinate. Um, when you distract. When, when you get you distracted, distracted. When you get distracted in something, but uh, because you want to. <laughs> there's no word. Your there's no activity? word in English. You prolong your activities, mm -hmm. that's the word, good. There's no word in English for postergar. How do you say postergar in English? I think that's procrastinate, postergar. Excellent, okay. In later. In what? In later. Later, you do it later, that's right. In later, in later. Later, you keep doing things later instead of doing it right now. Excellent, okay. Um, that's a very common phrase that you may not be using. Figure it out. You can tell me a little more slowly. Mm, más lentamente. You can tell me a little more slowly. Could you say it? Slowly, could you say it a little slower? You could, you can tell me that 
a little slower, slower. Comparison, comparison, good, Durbin. Okay, figure it out. Look out, no. Look out. Look for yourself. Look for yourself. Go find yourself. Okay, all of these are just phrases, okay? But I want you to use them. Figure it out is like find out. Find out by yourself, you know. Oh, there's another one, a synonym of figure it out. Picture it. <laughs> yeah, he loved that phrase. Come on, picture it. You're very smart. Okay, figure it out. I know you can figure it out. Another one that I love, get Violeta. In Spanish, we say, uh, tell me with pears and apples. <laughs> tell me with pears and apples. Yeah, tell me with, tell me that, yeah, tell me with pears and apples. Yeah, in English too, you can say that. Okay. <laughs> so in other words, don't, don't, yeah, that will be it. Don't go around the bushes is another one, but those are idioms. Um, and don't worry guys. Sooner or later, you'll get the hand of it. Okay. Sooner or later, you'll get the hand of it. English is easy. Okay. Now, if you are, if you are difficult to take a decision, then you can use this one. Make up your mind. When you go to the supermarket and you don't know what to buy, what brand of milk you want to brand and you want to buy and you go like ah make up your mind you send send the at my phone send that please oh to the whatsapp my group phone. sure okay yeah. and okay. let me let me remember you can always watch again the video okay i'm going to send it to the group right now and let's start the class with the platform Okay, what do we got for today? Oh God, okay, hold on. Where's your class? Oh, okay, so we will continue like talking about passive. Thank you, Violeta, for your comment. Okay, active, you can have a hairdresser cut your hair and beard, beard. You can have your hair and beard done by a hairdresser. You can have your hair and beard done by a hairdresser. Love it. It's perfect. Thank you for your examples. So now we're gonna talk about uh, the first video, the intro video in section four. We're starting section four tonight. Let's watch the video. I want you to pay close attention, active listening guys. Open your ears if you are in a quiet environment. It's very important to be in a quiet environment on your classes. Please open your ears. Just listen to the sound of Jessica's voice. Okay, and pay attention. If you hear any new word, take notes because I will make you a lot of questions about this video, okay? I think this is the one. Okay, let's pay attention. As on the other sections, we have an intro video for you. Please take notes if you feel you need to. Enjoy. Hello? Yes, Pat. I'm working on that right now. Uh-huh. Okay. By five o'clock. Yes, okay, thanks. What's up, Carmen? You look really stressed out. It's his job, Hugo. I'm constantly under pressure. My muscles are tense. My neck is stiff. My stomach is in knots. I just, I, I can't seem to relax. Yeah, stress is a killer. Well, one thing you could do is get some exercise. It's a great way to relieve tension. I tried that. Did it help? That's a long story. 
First, I tried skating. I love skating. How'd it work out? It didn't. Well, I'll say. Then I tried dance lessons. Oh, I love dancing. Me too. And so does my husband. But... But? He was a little too... enthusiastic. Uh-huh. Well... Have you thought about taking a yoga class? They say it's very relaxing. Yoga? Relaxing? Are you kidding me? You see this paper clip? Yes. This is what I'd look like after my yoga class. Ouch. There's always hypnotherapy. I've tried. Now, Every time I hear the word ocean, it's supposed to relax me. Oh, and it works. The other day, I was in a meeting. Someone started talking about the environmental problems and the world's oceans. People said the word ocean so many times that I fell asleep. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That must have been embarrassing. Now half the office knows. <sighs> See what I mean? Need to get the hypnotherapy reversed. Or... I have an idea. You could try aromatherapy. What's that? It's like a massage, but they rub your skin with scented oils. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm allergic to perfume. <sighs> well, uh, it might be a good idea then for you to take some time off. Go on vacation. Rent a little house on the beach or something, you know, on the ocean. The ocean? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll take a vacation. It's very relaxing. Lying on the beach, listening to the sounds of the ocean. Ocean, ocean. Enjoy your vacation. Okay, so first of all, I want to hear your comments about the video. Uh huh. <laughs> She needs to sleep. She needs to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She went to the ocean. <laughs> she went to the ocean right now. Her mind, Violeta? She needs a vacation. Okay, she needs a vac. Okay, vacation. let's practice something. V vacation. vacation. Do it slowly. Vacation. 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 Got it, vacation. Vacation. It sounds like vacation. No, it's vacation. Vacation. That's right. Okay. What else? What else? Violetta, Jarvin, Veronica. Um, she tried many things, but it doesn't work. I oh, know. Okay. She work. tried many things, but they didn't. The, uh -huh, yeah. They didn't work. Perfect. Uh huh. What did she try? What things did she try? She tried skating. She tried yoga. Dance club. What happened in the in the dance club? Her husband was enthusiastic. Too much. <laughs> enthusiastic. Too enthusiastic. <laughs> too, too enthusiastic and. He steps on her. He stepped. He stepped on her. He Excellent. On, on her. her. What happened to his? What happened to her uh, feet? To her foot? What happened to her foot? Many exercises. How do you say um, tobillo torcido? Oh, to. to... Um. Come on, feel the noise. 
I'm a boss. I got Come on, Violeta. We're not gonna take it. Hello, nice. we ain't gonna Twisted take it. Uncle. There you go, Twisted Sister. Yeah, I'm sorry, Twisted Uncle. <laughs> Do you hear the Mexicans, Violeta? Huevos con Huevos aceite. Con aceite. <laughs> They made they made the singer sing huevos con aceite instead of <laughs> we're not gonna take it. That was yes. a crazy story. <laughs> yeah, a twisted ankle. Great job. Okay, good. How do you say tengo el estómago hecho nudo? I love that phrase. You didn't remember that. Mm -hmm. She say I I have this. I uh, have like an a nod okay a but she she didn't say i have she said my stomach my, is yeah. enough my stomach is a nod perfect my stomach is a nod and my stomach is a nod that's right how do you say tiempo libre wait free time, time. free time they use something else on the video that's why free I was time? giving you synonyms at the beginning of the class. Free time. Mm. No. Free time. Time. Free. Oh. Time. Time off. There you time go. Off. Time off. That's... You can say time off, free time. There's a lot of ways to say that. Okay. Oh, my favorite. Spare time. Spare. Ah, uh, spare time. Spare time. Remember? Have you heard that? Yeah, you heard that, right? Time. Oh, that's very common. Her neck is stiff. Violetta, yeah. What do you understand by that, guys? Her neck is stiff. Mm -hmm. Like, you can move your neck, right? Yeah, when, when you have an accident and you can't move your neck. Okay, it's like hard and it's hardening, you cannot right? Move. You cannot move. Yes. Okay. In good Two years Spanish. Ago, I have an I have an accident, a car accident. Mm -hmm. So I have my my old old spine were stiff. Your whole spine was yes. stiff. Oh my god. Yes. That's a lot of pain. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yes, I, I feel it. I still feel it. Um, did you get better? Uh, yes, right now I'm. That's why I'm doing uh, Arabic dance. <laughs> oh my God! Really? Yes, yes, for my spine, my 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 core. Would you show us? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't worry. <laughs> I have I have a picture from this really? this this uh, weekend. We went. Uh, a restaurant to a uh, restaurant yes uh, cha 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 is the name so uh, we we Practiced. we enjoy we enjoy a performance <gasps> really yes oh my Let god see if i have the picture here yeah, sure that's okay well i prepare nice. the next yes. part congrats yes, yes so <laughs> uh, this uh, in, the, in this December, we're going to have a presentation for us. <laughs> and so we awesome. are going to dance. <laughs> awesome. Belly dance? Yes. Wow. Does that yes. help you to reduce to burn fat? Yes. Yes, yes. because I have to work all my core. Your core, which is very difficult. To... Yes. Yeah, uh, so my, my spine were... Uh, Relief is has been relief. Yes. Really. Has been relief. Yes. Okay. So, that's nice. <laughs> if you ever need want to show us a picture, it's okay. Okay. Let's see. Teacher, I like your shirt. Oh, thank I you. Need yeah. Other one. You need a, You need one like this. Another one. Another one. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's move on. So after watching that video, um, oh, did you get any other word? Did you get any other phrase 
or word from the video? No? Okay, there was a Beatriz here with us. I don't know where did she go. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. And that's you with the hands up? No, no, I sent it to the WhatsApp. <laughs> <gasps> we will see it, don't worry, okay. But but it's not me. <laughs> oh, okay, but this no. is just an example of what you do. Excellent, okay. So let's move on, let's see. Now, today we're gonna learn how to use the passive voice with have or get, as I was showing the example from Yuleta earlier. Okay, let's look at her example, active, active voice you can have a hairdresser cut your hair and beard now as a passive voice you can have your hair and beard done by a hairdresser let's let's look let's watch the video and then we will do a lot of exercises um just to practice this topic which is very useful um okay let's listen Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you that in English we can say the same idea in another way. Does active and passive voice ring a bell? Stay and find out. Page 59, exercise three, grammar focus. Have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's Personal Services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's Personal Services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. I know this is not new for you. Active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English we may say the same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. Okay, so far so good. This is active voice. Look at this structure. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. And there you have the grammar structure, right? You have have. Okay, first we, we should say that you need um, the auxiliary, I mean the subject plus a model in that example. You can, and then have plus someone plus the base form of a verb. Do you have any questions about that? Of course, then you have a compliment like your bike. Questions, questions. Talking to myself. Oh, oh. Teacher, can you translate the, the, the sentences, please? Which ones? The previous ones? Yes, you can have a repair shop fix. Okay, the, this one, okay. Puedes hacer que una que un taller repare tu bicicleta. Puedes hacer. In puedes, the fair, you can have a shop. repair shop. Mm -hmm. Present. So yeah. that is affirmative uh, sentence. It is an affirmation. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not a question. It's not a question. Perfect. Thank you for clarifying that. It's a. It's a suggestion. If you want to see it that way, it's a suggestion, an affirmation. And okay. you're you're using can, so yes, it's an imperative. You know, you can have a repair shop fix your bike you could change the model and say you could you could you have will. a repair shop mm. you could if i were you violeta i would have a repair shop fix your bike 
my bike. If I were you, I would have. Si yo fuese tú, haría que una tienda, no, I'm sorry, un taller reparara mi, mi bicicleta. There you have a figure, a figure, you know, figurative way of speaking. Unreal situation. And then you can use would. But in a question, we have to use do you. How will do you do you it? Have, do you have? Yeah, that's a good do example. You have, do you have a, a repair shop fix your repair, bike? Fix your bike. Fix do your you bike? have a repair shop fix? Do you have? Yeah, but or, then you will you will be asking if that person usually or, goes to a to a repair shop. Or we have to use a we have to change the order. Can you have a? No, we have to use do you. Yeah, it will be do you. Do you okay. have? Do you okay. have? Now you couldn't say do you can have. Be careful with that. You see? Do you have a repair shop fix your bike? Do you have a repair shop fixing your bike? Okay. Do you typically have a repair shop fixing your bike? Usualmente haces que un taller arregle tu, tu what is that? Sorry, uh, tu bicicleta, tu moto, in that, that example. Okay. But let's stick, let's stick to this example, okay? Have plus someone plus the base form of the verb. Any other question? No, okay. And let's finish the video and I will send you the picture of the um, examples, okay? Let's type an example using it. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have the verb. Okay. Let's type an example using it. You can get a repair. It is the same structure. Using have or get, you still have get plus someone plus the verb in infinitive. I mean, yeah, in infinitive. So you can get, before you were saying you can have a repair shop. Now is you can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Question to you, does the meaning change if I use have or get? What do you think? Mm, I think no. It doesn't change. It's the same thing. If you say have or get, you're saying the same thing until now. Let's look at the active and passive voice shop to fix your bike get plus someone plus infinitive verb moving on we have passive you can have or get your bike fixed it's optional to write at or buy a shop have or get plus object plus past participles is optional to use at or buy Okay, at this point, they didn't give an example. So what do you think? You can have or you can get your bike fixed at a, at a repair shop, at a repair shop. You can have or you can get your bike fixed at a repair shop, by a repair shop. Okay, so what changes is the past participle here, the use of the past participle. And this is the passive voice as we saw before. As we... Questions? No. Do you need examples? Yes. Yes, okay. It's optional to use at or by. I want you to work in class. I want you to talk about two things you want to have done. Remember, you may type your answers on our discussion box. Bless you. Sorry, guys. 
if you haven't noticed, I had my office moved to the studio in my house. If you haven't noticed, I had my office moved. Yes, yes, moved I noticed. I to the studio in my house. Oh, there. It's That's other because, way. yeah, we are, well, we're in the studio. I have the backyard. My wife is washing the dishes here. And so, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you hear some noises, and I have my little chocolate man there watching videos, you see. It's a little chocolate man. Sabi. He's, he's, he's deaf right now. He can hear nothing. Sabi. He's concentrating. Sabi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's focused watching videos. Oh my God. So, yeah, this is crazy. The thing is that my bathroom, listen, we're having someone, this is something else. We're having someone repairing our bathroom tomorrow because it got stuck. I mean, we have to evacuate or or master room. Do you know what is a master room? The main room in the house. So that bathroom, we're going to do a rebuild of the bathroom because it got stuck. So water was coming out of the bathtub. You know what is a bathtub? Remember I told you that? So yep. that heavy it was. The water was coming from the bathtub, you know. Uh, I know, it's crazy. So I'm gonna have to spend some money. Unfortunately, that, that's just the way it is. So I had to move all, everything around. So you heard the example? We're having someone repairing and I'm using present participle. So let's go and apply this really quick. No, but I want you to participate, guys. I want you to give me ideas. What, what can we have done by someone else? When Check I was- the other son. Oh, the others? They're in the living room watching TV. They're off school. They they're off school. You know, they're just relaxing. Okay, something that Violetta mentioned is something that I I am always repeating to myself. Uh, I used to say I'm getting my hair cut, or I'm cutting my hair. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. Think, think, think. I'm getting my hair cut. When you... When you, when you say when you're you, cutting your hair, is like you, by you cutting yeah. your hair. You make the action. But if you say, I'm getting my hair cut, you're going to go to a barber shop. To a hairdresser. Someone is doing it for me. Exactly. So it's, there's always a, a misconception about these terms. You know, you, you usually say, I, "I'm cutting my hair on on Saturday." You know, a gringo, an American, will say, "Like, what? You can you cut your hair by yourself, right? You cut your hair by yourself? It's weird." Okay. No, I'm getting my hair cut. And tendieron todos. <laughs> Everybody, yes. you got it? Vero, Danny, Jarvin. Yes. Yo, Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice is so quiet today. Okay. So, what things can someone repair for you or do for you? Uh, repair the, the car. Yes, I need to repair my car. Okay, who can do it for me? Repair uh, the machine. What's the name of the mechanic? I don't know. 
Okay, let's go with uh, the active voice. You can have, put a name, put a name on the mechanic. Hurry up. Raul. Okay, you can have, excellent. You can have Raul uh, to repair. What's the structure? Oh, I, did I did I send you the, wait a minute. Did I send you the picture? No, right. Oh, I still have it here, thank God, okay. Let me send you this so you can help me. You have to run the class tonight, okay? I don't know English, we don't have English right now. Okay, they're on your chat, on your WhatsApp, you have the, the image of the structures that we're using, the active voice and the passive voice. Open it, open it. So, Okay, that's the, the first question, right? Do you know where I can have someone repair my car? Is that right? Do you know where, where can I have or where I can have someone repair my car? Correct me if I'm wrong. So the active voice will be, you can have Raul repair your car? Mm. You can have and teacher. Mm -hmm. You 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 don't change the they have with with third person. No. Good point. Okay. Good point. No, this is not third person. This is not. Um... Yeah, well, first of all, when you use have, it is affecting this the second person. And number two, we're using a model. We're using a model before have. So no, it's not simple present. You can have, it's a suggestion using models. You can have Raul repair your car. Now, how would you do this in passive voice? Can you hmm. have repair? You can, you, sorry, sorry. You can have repair your car by Raul? Close. Jarvin, Jarvin, where is the object in this sentence? What is the object? Car. Someone. Your car. Someone? Your car, right? Let's, your car, yes, yes, yes. Remember the passive voice, guys. I know you can do this. Okay, so your car will be the object. So let's move it to the front, to the beginning. Okay. Your car, what? Can have. Can have. Can have. Mm hmm. Hmm. You can have repair by Raul. By Raul. Hmm. No. Is that right? You can have Raul repair your car. Your car can get repaired by Raul. Can have repaired. Mm. Can have repair will in sound nice but you have uh, in the chart it is like that Let's you see. can have your car uh, repaired by raul oh ed here yes in the in the chart it says uh, the passive voice it says you can have your your car repaired by Raul. Excellent. You can have your, thank you. 
let me open it again. Okay, I'll have it here. Okay, you can have, oh, so we have to respect these. The object comes first. I got it. I followed you. Thank you, Violeta. Okay, so we'll be, you can have your car repaired by Raul. Now, so here, this is not passive voice, right? You can have Raul repair your car. You can have your car repaired by Raul. So this is easier. This is easier. You're just playing with the object and the subject as normal, right? So the subject, the of no, no, the subject on the active voice comes to the end. Okay, that's the subject. Now it is the object. And your car, which was the object before, comes to the beginning. And it becomes the subject of their passive voice. Remember, you can delete the doer. You can have your car repaired. Okay, tú puedes hacer que reparen tu auto, Verónica. Tú puedes hacer que Raúl repare tu auto. Tú puedes hacer que reparen tu auto. Who? I don't know. Oh, who? By Raúl. Oops, by Raúl. You got it? Yeah. What's better? Okay, give me an example. You give me an example. Hmm. Think I about have a question. Yes, please. You can have your car. You told told us usted puede hacer, but have is tener. A ver. Yeah. Here is here's where the English doesn't go strictly translated into Spanish. Yeah. You see, you can do put it, put it on the on the on the translator in the Google Translate, manly. See what you get and see what you get and tell us what, what's the translation you get. You can have, usted puede tener. Hmm. What you can do, usted puede hacer. Yeah, but it you couldn't translate to Spanish this sentence like. Usted puede tener su carro reparado por Raúl. Mm. Sounds weird, right? Mm. Yes. So, again, the translation, guys, is not is not written in rock. This is not written in rock. Okay. Okay, we have still four minutes. Can somebody give me another example? Me. Mm. And you can have one fix your TV. Mm -hmm. So that's the active voice. Okay, where is the doer? We have one will be the doer. What is the object? The TV. Your TV. Okay, good. Let's make it passive. You can have the TV. You can mm -hmm. have your TV. You fix. Fix. Fixed. Fixed. Mm -hmm. By Juan. By Juan, if you want. Now, remember, you can get your TV fixed by Juan, you can get Juan fix your TV. Okay, you can use get, have. And that's when you want something, when you want something to get done for you. Okay. So continue practicing, look at that chart. And tomorrow we're gonna start with this topic, okay? Having conversations, giving examples on what you could do, what you can do, 
and think about the models. That's very important in this topic. It's not just can, you know, you can use could, must, right? Do you, hey, you must have your chair fit repaired. You must have your chair repaired, for example, okay? Good. See you tomorrow. Teacher, you use get and 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 do is get or hmm. do. You can do or you can get is the same. No, they're no. different. Because in this case, we're talking about having someone to do something for you. You can get someone to do something for you, but you cannot do someone do something for you. Okay. Mm. Yes, I like your shirt. Thank you. I needed a, another one. Like this one with the logo yes, on there. I yeah. need it. <laughs> okay, I'll Thank give it to you. you, wait. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for joining Bye. us. Bye. Bye.